Hey guys, Ewan here. So, Toronto Pro, top two right here. I thought Stanimal is gonna be in the top two, but apparently not. Uh, he will be maybe third, maybe fourth, but not in top two. Who cracked the top two, aside from obviously Quinton area, is Joel Thomas. Now this guy, he looks like a Mr. Olympia winner in his gym photos. He looks super, super impressive, but on the stage, he doesn't look that good. He doesn't look that bad either, but I think that's why I didn't really see him cracking the top two, because the difference between his gym shots and stage shots and how he does it the shows is so different, so I thought he, he won't do that well. But in this lineup against these guys, I mean, uh, Quinton area, he's like 25 right now, 24, even something like that. And Stanimal, you know, he's a man's physique guy, uh, former man's physique guy. This isn't exactly a super deep lineup, to be honest. But Quinton area, he brought crazy looking physique. I wouldn't say crazy looking shape. He could be more shredded. But I mean, the, 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 the way that his legs are flaring up, I mean, the, the lats here and just his abs and thighs pose look so aesthetic, so beautiful. Small, tiny waist, crazy looking uh, quads, lats, arms, big and everything. I mean, he's really big, he's really massive. But I would like to see more definition. I would like to see better conditioning, deeper details, you know, more separation, more, more, more details overall. And uh, as far as mass, yeah, he still could get a little bit rounder overall, especially in the back. I would like to see him add some more density to his overall frame. You can see that lack of density, of thickness, uh, right there in a side chest shot uh, against Joel, Joel Thomas, who has a lot of density, a lot of thickness. And that is just something that comes with, with age, with years of heavy training. So, Quinton right now, he's, he's big, like he's really big and he's pretty conditioned. Not super crisp, shredded, detailed all over, not really. But he's in good condition and he's big enough. And I, I would say he's good enough overall to win this show. He is the guy with the most complete physique, with the least amount of flaws. And I definitely do see him winning this show. So we'll probably see him at the Mr. Olympia instead of Stanimal. You can see him right there. So based on what I saw, I think he's battling for third. He might be fourth. I don't think he's going to be fifth. But uh, no, he's not going to be second. And uh, no, he cannot win this show and go to the Mr. Olympia. At least not based on a win, maybe on points if he really tried. Regardless, he brought a good shape. I would just like to see him gain more size, that's it, especially in the back, lower lats in particular, and his legs could use more detail and more roundness, more, more mass overall, and I think the same thing you can go with his arms, his chest and delts are really good, overall the structure is fine, the conditioning is good, it's just gonna take some more time for him to get to that level, but I mean right now the way he looked, from a man's physique competitor to looking like this, to being... Well, talked about as a potential winner of Toronto Pro, that's something. And also, like, being third would also be great. So I think next year he might win a qualification if he wins another show, lower level show like this. Or in a couple of more years, we'll see. This guy is very persuasive, he's a hard worker. And what he accomplished so far, how far he came, you know, it would be stupid to underestimate him and not expect him to, to, to grow and to improve even more over the years. We'll see what's gonna happen, this guy is very passionate about bodybuilding, he's a really hard worker. Genetics are not exactly on his side, but he's a hard worker, that's why I respect him, that's why I wanna see him do well. Maybe not this year, apparently, but next year or in a couple of years, we'll see. But I think this guy is not gonna give up just like that, no. Alright, so Big Remy, another guest posing. Now this footage is not exactly super high quality, so you can't really make too much of his physique or his body fat percent. But it seems like he gained some fat and some water compared to his last, uh, his last guest posing. But you know what? Give props and props are due. Big Remy is very active this year so far. So last year he was not active at all. I wouldn't say he was not as active or less active. There was no trace of Big Remy. We didn't know if he was alive even. There was no videos, nothing. And eventually he came and he won the Mr. Olympia. He did a shadow thing. Now, he's not really doing that, he's guest posing. He did so many uh, guest posings so far, and uh, is he gonna continue, for how long will he be active? Maybe, I would say, based on this video right here, because he looks softer, he looks worse than he looked last time. Maybe he just went off the stuff, 
and for as long as he looks good without it, he will do the guest posings. Once he starts looking worse, he will probably stop. I mean, that's just my idea. You can see that Big Ram is still huge, but he doesn't have that hardness, the conditioning, not even close. And I don't think it's only him not really worrying too much, not doing cardio, or not eating completely clean. I think it's just uh, him being on PCT or being on no gear, tier 2, whatever he does. But I don't think he's on gear. I think he went off. You can see that in his muscle. He's softening up. And if he kept it that way for a long time, he would lose a lot. So maybe that's the reason why he didn't post a lot last year. Maybe he posted a couple of guest posings early after the Mr. Olympia. And then he didn't take anything before the prep. Because why would he? I mean, is he in a need to, to add more muscle, more tissue? I wouldn't say so. Probably not. So my best guess is that he goes off after the shows. He's gonna keep doing these uh, photo shoots until he looks like something. But at some point he'll probably stop doing the guest posings. And then he will go into the shadows. And we won't see him until he starts prepping. Because he's gonna probably be off the gear all that time. And won't look very good, very hard. He's gonna look softer, smaller. And even though it is great for his health what he's doing. It's not exactly the greatest thing for bodybuilding fans. We would like to see him on stage every weekend. If it is possible as a guest poser everywhere. In every country of course. But uh, no, it's not gonna happen. And finally, you can see, you can see that he's uh, slowly going off. So I would say he has maybe one or two guest posings left in that tank. All right, next, Phil Heath, who might be making a comeback. So he posted this photo of himself uh, after doing cardio, obviously, where he does look pretty soft, like there aren't those hard separations everywhere. But that's Phil Heath, he's in the offseason like that, he grows like wheat before he preps for the shows. He says, cardio done, attacking this week stronger than the last, building up momentum for that triumphant moment. What is that triumphant moment that he's talking about? Is he talking about the Mr. Olympia? Maybe he wants a couple of more of those sandals and he can't take them. And as you can see right there in the comment section, Kai Green is trolling him, like he's trolling pretty much everybody, but Phil he definitely the most. But Phil knows how to react this time around, he's not getting involved in any drama. Kai asks him, how much cardio do you do? And Phil responds, enough to get shredded soon. What the hell does that even mean? I mean, is he competing? Is he getting ready for a show or something else? I'm not sure, but that's my best guess. He's prepping for a show. Which show? He says soon. So could it be Arnold Classic? Is Phil doing the Arnold? I do not know. Nobody knows. But if he actually came back and he did the Arnold and he won it, his, his hernia was fixed. And then, with all that momentum, he shows up at the Mr. Olympia against Rami and Brandon. And he's symmetrical, he's proportionate, he has quads. He doesn't like them like Brandon. And also he has great back, he has pretty much everything, no muscle is missing there. It's only the stomach, so if he doesn't fix that stomach, and he starts competing again or something, he will not be Mr. Olympia winner, he needs to fix it, he needs to get it better. I don't know if it's a surgery thing or just him practicing the vacuum, but look at this conditioning, look at this freshness. Whatever it takes for him to get that abdomen in control is what he should do. And that should be the priority number one in his prep right now. First that, everything else later. He still has a lot of mass, maybe not this much, maybe his waist is not this tiny. His stomach got a little bit distended over the years of gaining muscle. I'm sure it happens to everybody at this size, but right now, feel heat is prepping for something certainly is it for uh for a photo shoot or for an actual competition a high level one like Arnold classic i'm not sure but we'll find out probably pretty soon and i will report on it as soon as possible so guys stay tuned subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of the future bodybuilding videos like this or different kinds and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and thank you very much guys for watching all the best and bye bye